I love that movie from beginning to end. And then I went online one day and I saw the reviews and I'm like, Phew. I was like, what? I don't get it. This movie was incredible. Why is it so hard to make a great movie? Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. I think one, it depends on your definition of great. I think that so many people are caught up in everybody else said it was great. And I think that's where most movies go wrong. Somebody will tell somebody, oh, your movie's like this, but with a little bit of that. And they go, I didn't see that, but okay. And then they go back and they start looking at that movie and they want to polish it now and make it a little bit more like that movie. And it's, it's that whole, it's that whole like looking at the guy next to you thing. You know, and judging yourself by how far you've gotten ahead of everybody else that are your, that is your peer or your, you know, your colleague or whatnot, trying to, trying to just get ahead of them and judging yourself, judging your success by how much more success you've had than them. And that includes making a great movie. I consider a great movie to be one where I watched that movie and I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't turn it off. That's watching it though. I couldn't turn it off. Um, one of one of my favorite movies uh, is 44 Inch Chest. Nobody's seen it. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Let me, let me not say nobody's seen it. Most people in the US haven't seen it. Um, but it's called 44 Inch Chest. I love that movie from beginning to end. And then I went online one day and I saw the reviews and I'm like, Phew. I was like, what? I don't get it. This movie was incredible. I mean, I, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. It was so well written. Um, every element of, of filmmaking was done to the nth degree. I, I just didn't understand it, right? So I don't know if certain people walked away going, I guess we didn't make a great movie. You know? I felt they made a great movie. I felt they made one of the best movies ever. I did, and it's a small little movie, takes place in a flat, you know? Um, I think it's an incredible movie. I think it's a great movie. A lot of other people didn't think so. But maybe the person who made the movie said, that's exactly what I wanted to make. Because that's how I would feel. When I sit down and I watch a film of mine, it's all about how much of what was in here made it on the screen. And if it made it on the screen, if one, one day when I get to at least 93% of whatever I wanted being on the screen, I'm going to say that's a great movie. That's a great movie. That's a successful movie. I've made something successful because that's what success means to me. That's what a great movie made by me means, right? And I'm hopeful that that person who made 44 Inch Chess felt that way because maybe people don't feel that that was a great movie. You said it was a foreign film? It's, it's made in the UK. Um, it has uh, Ray, oh, it's gonna bother me that I can't remember his name. Leota? But um hum? Leota? No, 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 no not okay. Ray Leota. Uh Ray, he was in he was in uh um uh the the Jack Nicholson movie when he played the gangster, the Irish gangster, um with Leonardo DiCaprio and uh all those guys. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but you've seen him a million times. And when you see 44 inch oh, chest. Fines? No, 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 Roy no. Fine, no, no it's like, I want to say it's like Roy, I mean, Ray, like, I don't know why I want to call it like Cockburn or something like that, but I know that's not what it is. But it's, as soon as you see him, you're going to say, oh, that guy, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. But it's it's him, it's so many people, so many names, that you, so many people that you're going to recognize immediately, right? As soon as it starts, you're going to see four people you've seen in every movie you've ever seen. And you're going to say, oh, oh, okay. But they're all UK actors, right? And the story is very simple. There's a 44 inch chest and there's a guy inside of there and the main character, the protagonist, is trying to decide should he kill him or not kill him. Very simple premise. He invites his friends over. His friends are gangsters just like he's a gangster. And they're trying to help him work through his problem to decide if he should kill this guy. Do you know who this guy is? This is the guy that's been sleeping with his wife. And the whole movie, I'm not ruining it, that's the movie. They're trying to decide should he kill the guy or shouldn't he. That's the whole movie. And I'm telling you, it is a perfect movie from start to finish. Hmm. Does it take place in one room? It doesn't take place in one room, but definitely in one, one flat. Okay. One flat. It, it, it's, um, it's, it's done to 
an incredible level of, of filmmaking. Writing, directing, editing, score, everything is incredible. The acting is impeccable. The special effects are impeccable. Yes, there are special effects even in this, this small film. Um, everything was done so perfectly. So the definition of great is really, you know, kind of subjective in terms of why is it so hard to make a great movie. I think if you have succeeded at accomplishing what you wanted to accomplish and you, you feel successful in it, it's a great movie in terms of one that you've made. Now, if you are talking about just watching movies, yeah, there's a lot of movies that will let you down, you know? And maybe, maybe, maybe this person who thinks that they made a great movie was just like a guy who I was telling you about who stunted his growth because all he's concerned about is how he measures up against the other filmmakers that he knows in his peer group. And if he's thinking about that and he's constantly throwing in stuff and falling back on bad habits and never growing, he may be satisfied, but he hasn't made a great movie. You know, I think that you have to be beyond that. Um, one of the <clears throat> one of the best uh, you know quotes is 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 from uh, the Art of War, where it talks about you know making yourself invincible, right? And invincible doesn't mean that you can't uh, that you win. That doesn't mean you win. Um, all that invincible means is putting yourself beyond the possibility of defeat. And the only way to do that is by truly knowing yourself. You have to truly know yourself and not spend your time so concerned with what everybody else is doing. It's one of the reasons why I took down my personal profile on Facebook. I don't wanna know what everybody else is working on. I just wanna focus. I just wanna focus and I wanna grow. That's all I wanna do It's focus and grow. And so <clears throat> you have to be without that vanity. You have to be without that ego so that you, you have the ability to grow. And when you are making something, you're constantly growing and getting better and you can understand what didn't work, what did work. You can understand how could I have better communicated that so that it ended up on the screen the way that I wanted it to. And how close did I get to the vision that I had in my head? How close did I really truly get? And even with One to One, where I consider it to be my best film to date, if you ask me how close I got, I'd say 75% if I'm being generous with myself. If I'm being generous with myself, I got 75%. I'm trying to get in the 90s. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the 90s and so that I can consider it a great film, so that I can consider it a successful film. I find that our greatest enemy, besides constant comparing yourself to your peers, <clears throat> the enemy of great um, or the enemy of good is, is sometimes trying to be great as opposed to just trying to make the best movie possible, you're trying to be great. Don't try to be great. Just try to be truthful and honest to the story, to your characters. Try that. Be as honest and truthful as you can in that moment. That story, like I said, may, that truth may not resonate with everybody in, sen in the sense of it's their truth, but they have to understand that you were being honest when you were making this film. 